So I'm waiting on my ride and I'm in front of Burger King and I just got me something to eat. It's a lot going on. Oh my God. And if y'all don't know, I'm scared of pigeons. <laughs> but I'm waiting on my ride. I had to pay my payment fitness bill um, before they pull it out of my account. I was like, uh-uh. I got money sitting somewhere else. And it wasn't in that account. <laughs> so I basically just paid it beforehand. And also, I um, had a client. But I said I might as well get, grab me something to eat or whatever. While I'm out here in these streets. So I did get something from her. But it is what it is. But let me go. Because I'm still in a hood. And you know how I'm easily triggered. Hey y'all, so remember that dress that I opened up? I'm gonna try it on. I know I look crazy, I've been rubbing my eyes. <laughs> and I strongly believe I have my undershirt on inside out. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, y'all. But I'm about to try this dress on real quick. If I did not mention already, I'm not pleased with this dress that I did purchase. Uh, <clears throat> primarily because the material um, is cheesy to me. So this is like cotton, like regular cotton. This is not like a spandex. I would have to wear the short spanx. Or maybe not, but the string is long as shit. As if the dress can be super long, but I don't know. It just, it's not giving. It's not like a rich black. I wanted a little black dress, but if y'all remember my last post when I was posting um, how to kind of get your best photography, like pictures in your own apartment, um, I wanted to wear that dress, but I felt like it was too Formal. I wanted something sexy. I'll tell y'all what the event is later and it will all come together. But I don't like to tell where I'm at at that exact moment. Uh, like the sleeves. The sleeves is cute. The sleeves is cute. It's not a bad dress. They do body kind dresses good, but I hate the material. But I love the material because it doesn't move around. So I do feel like they took their time to kind of measure out what's what. Like I felt like if it was real spandexy and I already got on Spanx the spandexy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It would probably just be doing this all day and I gotta keep uh, uh, uh. I like the fact that I'm kept in place, but in the butt. I never get the gathers. I never get the gathers in the butt. I even like the fact that it comes above the knee. I even like that. But I even like the fact that it comes above the knee. But honestly, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to this event and I feel like every time I go, I always wear a little black dress with the particular this particular person that I'm going with. But um 
the dress is never like super tight like this. I'm always doing a butt wink. When I do this, it's like, that's my winking of the eye. Cause I ain't good with winking the eye. When I do this, I'm really winking at you. So if you see me standing somewhere and I'm looking cute, then all of a sudden my butt go boop, 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 boop. Come over, say what's up. <laughs> but this is actually cute. I'm gonna wear it. Now I gotta find a shoe, but I wanna do colorful jewelry. Even though I'm wearing a little black dress, I wanna do colorful jewelry. I was thinking about this here at first, but I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. My mom got me this and I haven't rocked it yet. I feel like it's so nice. You ever have stuff that's so nice that you never wind up wearing it? Cause it's so nice, like, you waiting for the perfect time to wear it. But it's a bracelet that just spirals like crazy. This is handmade. Um, wanted to rock this, but I feel like, I feel like as nice as I think this is, I think it would be perfect with a pair of jeans because of this big piece. Had this had not been here and it wasn't so stacked, I feel like it would look cute with a t-shirt and jeans, but I don't know. I thought it would look cute with this, but you're not going to see it because of, you know, but this dress isn't bad. I'm going to find a cute bra, maybe a bra with one of them clear strips. I can even, I hate doing that because you can feel that whole time, whole time you can feel that. But I do like the fact that my shoulders don't look bad. I need to start rubbing my shoulders down now with some shea butter. Because I do have like some little discoloration from my bra strips. The dress not bad. I like it. I was hating the material. If y'all can see what I'm talking about. It's just that cotton material. Like an old school pair of tights or something. It needs to be pressed out. But yeah, like an old school pair of tights. But it's not moving around. That's what I do like. And that's what I remember from the last dress that I ordered. It was brown. It was body kind. It was, it was just a regular up and down. Like it wasn't um, any gathers or anything like that. And it was just covered long sleeve and it was hitting like it stopped right there and i wore it to a couple different things and i was like damn this dress it was so fucking comfortable that i wound up wearing it in the house and i really dogged it and i always said i wanted to go back and get a couple more couple more dresses just like that but by the time i went back on the website it was a whole nother thing but and you know what I did make a couple body kind dresses before, but I always skipped over material like this. But now that I know how it holds and how good it just stays in place, like I can do like this. And I feel like, let me see, it's kind of twisted. Even though that don't matter, I can fix that part when I go out. But yeah, I feel like I just moved it so it wouldn't be all gathered around my breast. I feel like it's going to stay like that all day all day if i leave it there instead of you know how that slippery material is you go ahead to place the gathers where you want it you place it where you want it right y'all know girls know and then you get to move it around move it around move it around before you know it, it done did this it done went up here it done did the most i feel like i neglected this material but now i appreciate it even though in this type of material, you lose so much of that rich color that <coughs> it's just, <coughs> you lose so much of the rich color that it fades. So after I wash this, it's not going to be what I want. That's the only thing that you lose and you miss out on when you use this regular material. But it's still a vibe and I don't have on the right kind of Sphinx. Damn sure I don't have on the right kind of bra. But yeah, I like this. I like this. This is it. This is it. And I want to look sexy at this event because even though I'm taking a date, that's just my friend. He's my best friend. But the where the place where I'm going, it's gonna be a couple players there that that owe me an apology. 
<laughs> so I want to make they I want to make they mouth water. But I wouldn't say they owe me an apology. I just want them to see how sexy I look now. <laughs> but yeah, some colorful jewelry, a little colorful heel. Uh, yes. And I'm going to be walking in just like this hip popping because you know my hips is pretty I'm going to be like, uh, excuse me. What was that? What was that? What was that? <laughs> All right. So let me get up out of this dress and hang it up. So that's out the way. At first I was going to order another dress. But that's out the way. I need to do some squats too. Just to pick it up like an inch. You're not even going to notice it. But I want it jacked. Even though, child, I'm looking like the motherland. I'm looking like the shape of Africa. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right. So I got me some Brussels sprouts and a salmon burger that I split in half on two pieces of bread with a little bit of ranch. I'm not doing any rice because I already got the bread, but yeah, and I put some hot sauce on it too, some Louisiana girl, and this is the meal. Hey y'all, so I'm back and I'm looking, I'm looking like I'm looking. <laughs> so yeah, making some sea moss gel that has been soaking, and I rinsed it a couple times and then I soaked it and it swelled up. I'm not going to do a whole tutorial mainly because it's so many videos up and y'all really don't receive videos like this well. But pretty much already washed my hands and I'm going to give this another little rinse. Some of this water is probably so packed with nutrition. But I'm gonna give it another little wrench this way. So this is the sea moss. <laughs> and if you don't know, I've been on the journey to healthy eating and a healthy lifestyle for some time. So I would say for the past few years, I have been eating sea moss. So I talked to a couple of Jamaican originals, you know, Jamaican descents, whatever. And you can boil this. You can boil it. Normally I blend it just like this and it'd be kind of like textured. They say they boil it for quite some time. And you know, they let it simmer, they sweeten it with honey. Then I went to a food shop and they also had some sea moss but they had flavor like strawberry mango so I had some mangoes so I am going to blend the mango once I make this gel but oh my god some of it is really thick some of it is kind of thin this must be a grand pop look thick <laughs> it's so interesting doing this and practicing health, healthy you know eating and stuff like that I'm not going to do honey to sweeten it. I'm going to sweeten it with molasses. That's a first, me sweeten it with molasses. Um, I, I need anything to help me go to the bathroom. <laughs> um, if you don't know, go back some videos ago, child. Baby girl can't eat cheese like that. And what did my mother bring me today? Some mac and cheese from her job. I just put it in the freezer, freezer until I get past this whatever I'm going through but yeah I'm just filling up the pot and I don't know why I'm taking my time because I could have just picked it up but I was playing in it it's always interesting to look at this stuff like nature's medicine but I'm not gonna do a whole tutorial but I am I told y'all what I'm putting in it <clears throat> I will say you have to clean it first but while I'm boiling and fixing I am going to make me a salad out of this here. This Southwest Chipotle. Why did I say Chipotle? Why did I say Chipotle? <laughs> Southwest Greek yogurt dressing. This is my favorite. I like the little chips that comes with it and the dressing. I love ranch. 
and I'm going to cook some of these up. These are some breaded shrimp that's really already done. And I'm gonna do a salad. I got boiled eggs, all that in the um, fridge. Yep. Oh, and we went past Wawa. I blame Gina Janine. I blame Gina Janine. She was sitting here fucking one of these up one day. <laughs> and I said, you know what? Let me try one of these things. Ever since I've been hooked, whenever I go past a Wawa, I inquire about these. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer as well, you know, with the mac and cheese. For when I do have a cheat day, sweet tooth type of moment, I can have one. But I don't need it now because I already have one. I may have had two. But I don't need any more. So probably mid month or next month. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these in the freezer. <laughs> So I am sitting here literally eating me some Seamos. It tastes like, even though I put mango in it, it's giving me apple pie type of vibes. I'm sitting here watching, what's her name? Glamazante. Her vlog that she recently posted. She said she's doing Paris Fashion Week. Child, I already know the stress level of doing um paris not paris fashion week but fashion week period doing fashion week is crazy especially if you like a actual fashion design well if you're a designer and you construct the garments it's even more stressful but i haven't seen her the actual pieces it says day one so it's probably like just prepping and stuff like that but she got her mom like helping her and stuff like that which is hilarious because oh my god i wish when i say i wish i was vlogging when i did philly fashion week talking about crazy like she's in here she got time to do like her hair the night before everything i think for i had blind when i did fashion week and now that i think about it i had platinum blind and I don't know what was the motive behind it. I feel like me having the platinum blind, I already was wearing platinum vine. But anyway, getting to the tea, it was beyond stressful. Like, I had to meet up with the models. I just rubbed my eyes. I got mascara everywhere. I had to meet up with the models. Had to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Of course, I was designing the pieces from scratch. Um, behind the scenes of a fashion show, is not what you think everybody thinks like um oh it's so glamorous it's so high class it is it's glamorous i guess but excuse me what what i'm what i'm missing is is it's a headache trying to get out of sitting on camera looking rough <laughs> even though i don't have much makeup on just mascara and some lip gloss but once again check out the website if you love this chocolate lip gloss i gotta get some new labels but this is my signature lip gloss so anyway the crazy thing about fashion week is is that it's a headache oh my god when i tell you it's like hectic um at the last minute, I decided to wash my wig. But in the mix of designing and doing everything the day before and like prepping stuff, hanging stuff, steaming it, finishing pieces at the last minute. Oh my God, I forgot that the wig was still damp. <laughs> the day of the show and they had like all these people back there like from hair school that basically just as much as you are a designer designing there's hair people and makeup people that some of them are pros some of them are not um most of them are like students and stuff like that or they just on the rise so i found these hair girls i said honey I would pay y'all whatever. I said, I would pay y'all damn near $50 a piece. Get my wig together. Child, when I said money, 
And um, I don't know where I got all this money from around that time. But I was working. But when I mentioned money, they was like, what? Because they wasn't getting paid to do none of this stuff. See, another thing that everybody thinks, unless you're a high-end designer and you're already an entity, maybe the number does not matter. But once again, you do have to pay to participate in Fashion Week. I don't know what the number is to participate in Paris Fashion Week. But I know to do a local Fashion Week like Philly is... I don't know. I wouldn't say it is under a thousand, but it's a little under a thousand. Um, to do like New York, you may run into, you may be up there like a, a couple hundreds, like maybe fifteen hundred, something like that. Maybe ten. You may be paying ten thousand, but for Paris, I know for sure she went up there in a the number to participate in Paris Fashion Week, and I know a lot of my, you know. I wouldn't say colleagues, but a lot of people within my network system. I know a lot of people that participated in Paris Fashion Week. So, and it was offered to me plenty of times, but I just turned it down because the number is so high and you still got to account for your travel. You still have to account for your stay, your staff, the people to help you, all kinds of shit like that. So anyway, so when I threw the money at the girls, oh my goodness, they came with dryers, hair stuff. I would say not even 20, 30 minutes. They was like, you ready? And I was like, ready for what? They was like, we're going to put it on you. I said, ah! It's like they came through. <laughs> Because I was steaming stuff, running back and forth, getting pails of water, doing all this bullshit. When they said they would put it on for me, I said, bet. Bet. <laughs> so, they put it on for me. And that was the first time I ever had... What did they put on my head? I feel like it was got to be glue. <laughs> yeah, they put got to be glue in my hair. And that was the first time I ever had got to be glue. And I was like, um, how do I get this shit off? They said, girl, all you need is a little bit of water. That's it. And I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> and I, I, at the time, I was using, like, I was doing sewing wigs, wigs that didn't require glue and stuff like that. So, when they did the got to be, got to be that really put me onto shit. But aside from that, the, the back scenes of a show is crazy. You can lose your garments if you're not watching people, if you don't have help. And I was back there by myself. And I had did plenty of fashion shows before so i already knew what was up but this was like maybe four times the people and they had another show coming after our show so they was in the building but on like another level but they were still like lurking around so you got to be real careful because you can lose a lot of your pieces and your pieces are beautiful no matter what type of designer you are it's always going to be somebody eyeing something from your line girls is looking waiting for you to turn your head and it, it's you can easily miss some shit. So, um, I recommend you do have help. And it's so cute that she had, like, her mom helping her and doing little stuff. I thought that was cute because I remember my mother, she stayed up. I think we all stayed up to damn near, like, 2 or 3 in the morning. But some people had to go home, which was just my mom and my grandma. But my grandma had to go home. My mom, I had took everything to her house. And she had steamed everything. And I was working on, like, maybe one piece that just needed some more tweaking. Maybe one or two pieces. It was a headache. It was a headache. I ain't going to hold you. Um, I really wish that I was vlogging back then because that's when so much was happening. Like that was the start of like, finally it's not, you know, it's, it's a little up there now, like more upscale because beforehand, you know, everything was like really low key. And now like oftentimes I can find myself walking outside, people recognizing me or people, um, you know, saying, Oh, I seen your stuff online, blah, blah, blah. But, um, it's a cost and it's just an advertisement. Do doing a fashion week anywhere is just an advertisement. It's not, of course, it's like a pat on the back, okay, for yourself, like, oh, I accomplished something. But at the end of the day, um, people see what you're doing, yes, and it's high end, it's high profile. And if you have a big following, you get more love. Um, if you have a small following, people, you still going to get the same amount of likes, maybe one or two more. Um, uh, a lot of people will be like, wow, I seen you doing this from the muscle. You know, you'll get comments like that. But at the end of the day, like, 
it's just advertisement. You know, you'll have their pictures for uh, for a long period of time. You'll have um, articles. People will produce articles of your work because they'll see you on the runway. So you'll have high end uh, magazines, not magazines. It all depends. But you'll have high end editors that have like um uh, like I I've I've had posted with Fashion Bomb Daily, Claire Summers, um, another lady named Pink Caboodle. It's all kinds of stuff. If you Google my name, um you can Google either M T D or my actual name, Makaya, it will come up and it was like you'll see like all of well not all of, but most of my work. <laughs> so it's a great source of advertisement, especially if you want to give yourself another boost. Um, aside from what you already have, it's a great source of advertising, but it's a big number behind it. It's a big number behind it. And a lot of times what you expect from it, um, the word the word that comes to mind for haters, some people think that, oh, you're looking for attention, you're looking for clout. What you're really looking for is the money. You know what I mean? You're looking for people to notice you and buy your product or buy your fashions or whatever. Sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't. You know what I mean? But it's great to experience it and put yourself out there. If you're ever asked to do a fashion week, I recommend that you do it at least once, maybe twice. Um, And if you ever get to a place where you have to do a fashion week like every season, then baby, you're in you're in <laughs> but um there's a number sometimes it can be twenty thousand sometimes it can be more depending on your materials and your production and you know and if you're doing it all by yourself or with a staff you can drive yourself crazy you can really drive yourself crazy like i'm ready to pump out a new line but it's it's, I'm not doing it with a fashion week behind it. Oh, aside from that, so I'm in the damn market. Why does man? <laughs> I don't know why I put this wig on because people can't understand it. If I'm not all made up, they just like, girl, it's a lot of her. But for real, for when I was a little girl, this is how my head used to look <laughs> before I got my braids done. But this this white guy, <laughs> I walked inside of the Wawa. And he with his whole family. Like, I don't know if they came up out for ice cream. You know <laughs> you know how they do. But they all outside or whatever. Together. So it's a little boy, a little girl, <laughs> the wife, everybody. So he turns around while I'm in line. He said, like, hey, 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 motherfucker. Like, what is you looking at? Giggling and shit and smiling. He wasn't like laughing. He was just like so intrigued. <laughs> like they, they're always so intrigued. They're so used to us like calming ourselves down with the straight hair and doing all this other shit. No. Sometimes I embrace my uh my side. <laughs> Baby girl. I ain't gonna keep trying to Europeanize myself for you. Not all the time. So they, he was just looking. I know he wanted to say, you know that you know what they want to say. Oh my god, is that is that your hair? Can I touch it? Can I touch it? Touch me and you won't touch nothing else. <laughs> touch my hair and bruh, you won't touch nothing not in the game. <laughs> but yeah, I was just like, if you don't back back. But I love it because it's so soft and so like natural, like. And believe it or not, my hair, even though I cut it last year, it got some good growth on it. But the texture, the curl, and the like poofness is just the same. All right, I can't eat no more of this. It's too sweet. Too sweet. But honey, before I let y'all go, baby girl may have to say goodbye to cheese. I don't know if I mentioned it recently, but I did a whole video about it. It hurts when a bitch goes to the bathroom and I can't stand it. So I think what it is, is I did keto longer than I was supposed to do keto. 
And another lady told me at at work, and she's a nurse, she said, you're not supposed to do keto no more than like maybe not even four or five months. I really, off and on, I may break keto for like a few days, but never long enough to where I can say I kicked myself completely, completely out of ketosis. So I would say out of the whole year, I've been on this journey of keto for a whole year i've done a a strong maybe nine or ten months of keto so keto involves cheese you can't eat certain sugars you know things that just help you to go to the bathroom i was just missing out completely swearing i'm doing something ruining myself okay because i'm eating um tuna tuna wraps with cheese instead of the bread um i'm consuming no sugar whatsoever to the point where um nothing had sugar in it not one motherfucking thing (laughs) it was no type nothing to kind of like speed anything up all the things that i i thought was the wrong thing to eat like fruits i was scared to eat certain fruits because they had sugar in it child found myself not eating no fruits i ate a banana um a few weeks ago and i was like damn this banana is so good and it helped me like as far as with eliminations and stuff like that child I realized I, I wasn't eating fucking the, the shit that I need. Bananas, maybe some oranges, anything. <laughs> I, I think I had maybe, I can count on my hand how many oranges I had in the whole year last year. On my hand, how many times I bought a cluster of bananas, a, a bundle of bananas. Like, hmm. I don't know what I was doing to myself, but I'm slowly incorporating more vegetables, more fruits, and things of that nature, child. I've been taking turmeric shots for the past few days. I've been incorporating apple cider vinegar in my teas. Child, I'm trying. I've been putting fiber supplements in my water and shit like that. It helped as far as far as going to the bathroom, but I'm gonna tell you like keto is cool, but like you gotta you gotta determine how much keto you want to do. And I think with keto you should do maybe sixty five percent or seventy five percent. Don't go a hundred percent keto for a whole year. That's dangerous. I realize that that's that's the most dangerous thing that I ever could have did with this diet and stuff because my body has has never been the same. Like it, and it's not for some reason it's not working. I don't know what the fuck is wrong, child. I lost weight, yeah, I lost weight, but I don't know at what cost do you want to lose weight? Where you throw your body all the way off? So yeah. <laughs>